What is up, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, I lost the slow ride. Put my foot down. Anyway, <laughs> can you ever imagine the conversation going like this with your spouse? Honey, I found a new hobby. Oh yeah? Is it cheap? Well, no. Is it time consuming? Yes. Is it dangerous? Not really. Uh, what is it and does it make you happy? It's moto vlogging and yes, it does make one happy. <laughs> Study results pending. <laughs> Oh my goodness, ah, whoa, what the heck? We got like U-turns and all sorts of crazy stuff going on today. Good times were had by some. And now you're gonna pick a lane maybe? Maybe, yeah, there you go. Oh yes, With, <laughs> they're from California. <laughs> I expect that out of Californians. You know, I never start the video how I expected to start the video, so let's start the video with a jump off. Stay, rock forward, yep. Chippy stand for the win. Stay. Yeah. 2019 Street Vine Special getting covered in pollen and dirt and dust and bugs and, you know, motorcycle stuff. Because I'm a motorcyclist and I do motorcycle things with my bike. Ain't she a beaut? I hear Harley's going to take the horn off of this side and put it somewhere else later. It's a bummer. I like my flux capacitor there. Anyway. We are in the middle of March, which means you're seeing this in the middle of May, probably. Yeah, I tried the whole video a day for a week. It didn't go very well. Anyway, skip. Aha! All right. We have successfully dodged the dumbasses. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day out there in YouTube land. I have not been out on the bike in over a week. I have not recorded in over a week. It is high time for me to record a video. <laughs> I don't know why I put this pressure on myself, but I realized yours truly has over 400 videos on his YouTube channel. And by yours truly, I mean me. I don't know if that's a colloquialism for the US or if it's like globally known. Don't know, don't care, moving on. I still have no idea what the hell it is I'm doing here. And YouTube is like a popularity contest. It's like high school, but with better food. <laughs> There's some people that get it, some people that don't, some people that are quirky and still have friends. Yours truly is a member of all those groups. <sighs> but I digress. <laughs> ah, just a guy out on his Harley. Having a good time, needing coffee. My voice breaks like I'm still in high school or middle school. Was that middle school? I have no idea. My memory is all gone to crap. Ah, but YouTube is a popularity contest. You see some people make it big, some people don't make it big. And I think in this moto vlogging niche, there are clicks. There are, there are groups of moto vloggers who hang out with each other and don't invite new people into their little club. And then you see other moto vlogger channels that like, they just do their own thing. They don't do shout outs. They don't do milestone videos. They don't even put any personal details in their videos. Hey, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I finally remembered it, yay. Ooh, that sounded good, buddy. Nice. Oh yeah, love it. Big old Bimmer. I think that was a five or seven series. I don't know. They're all big cars to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's hilarious. How did I get from YouTube as a popularity contest to what was it again? To the clicks of groups of moto vloggers to personal details. That was it. <laughs> Golly, oh, I need more coffee. This is going to be a bad day if I need this much coffee this early. Ah, coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay, sure. Hey. Run me over and then get over it. That's fine. Go, 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 go. Yep. Hey, Ty from Tennessee, because I do shout outs in my videos. He likes it when I rant at the cagers around me. Yesterday I was riding home. I dropped more F-bombs in my truck than I had in the previous week combined. All the dum-dums are out. I'm looking forward to going around them today. Yep. But anyway, people don't put personal details in their videos. And I think I understand why because 
as somebody who is not a huge channel, why would somebody else care about what's going on in my life? That's what I wanna know. Because sometimes I see these people with subscriber counts similar to mine, and they'll put out a video that is pretty much 100% personal. And they get like 200 views. And I put out a video that I think is pretty good. Maybe it's crap, I don't know. But I put out what I think is a good video, and it gets like 40 views. So what I want you to do is drop a comment below with why you are subscribed to my channel. Because I do realize that I serve multiple audiences. The DaVinci Resolve crowd, the Moto Vlogger crowd, maybe a little bit of the Harley crowd, some of the Kawasaki crowd. And this division, it's, it's sewn in, right? It's sewn in division. It leads to a fractured viewership where one person will watch one out of every five of my videos. I understand that. What I don't understand is how, how to get people to care about your life. <laughs> I guess I'd have to have an interesting life first. Well, good God. They may have fixed the road, but they didn't fix the bumps. Eh, epic fail. But that is, that, that's the crux of the question today, my friends. How much personal detail do you put in your videos and still expect people to watch? Because I understand, oh, come on, what are you doing? Yeah, get over. I understand, if they're on their phone, I'm gonna laugh. No phone, both hands on the wheel, officer. I understand that over time, you sort of develop a relationship with the person on the other side of the camera. Now, in my case, as somebody recording a video, I picture close friends over there. And, you know, I pick a random friend. You know, it could be Ben from Bikes, Beards, and Brews, who doesn't know me. It could be Dewey, Dewey Rides. It could be, uh, it could be Mike Haley 7 who doesn't watch YouTube anymore. Anyway, I picture you guys. Yeah, you know who you are. I picture you guys when I'm recording a video. As somebody watching a video, you have to disconnect from your brain because your brain's telling you there's a movie on the screen and it's playing pretty pictures for me and I'm hearing sound. But there is a person on the, on the other end of a video and it works both ways. As you've seen, I have given examples of how it works both ways. So what does that leave us with? Is there some level of personal detail that is best? Like, do I tell you about my family, but not my bowel movements? Guarantee you, I will not tell you about my bowel movements, okay? I don't even want to remember those. <laughs> now, I will tell you when I have the gout, and I'll tell you, you know, I had the COVID uh, a couple months ago and all that. I, I just don't go into a lot of the personal details. I don't know, I just think that my life is not interesting enough to do this. You know, you've got the Peter McKinnons of the world who go flying to Iceland and Mexico and wherever. And then you've got the million dollar bogans. See, these people are all speeding to a red light. I am just coasting. I'm the smart one, I think. But you've got these people flying all over the world. That stuff's interesting. I rather enjoy watching their exploits. Is that the right word? I think it is. I rather enjoy watching that and seeing other parts of the world, which is why I like motovloggers that are outside the East Coast because their scenery is way different than ours. Yes, indeed. That is the God's honest truth. I'll take that one to the bank and cash it myself. I need the money. So as usual, I'm out here riding my bike, recording a video, no idea if it's worth watching or not. 17 of you will find it worth watching. The other 38 will click off immediately. <laughs> and, and that's just fine, because this whole thing put a smile on my face. You can see it. There it is. Oh, that's a great thumbnail. <laughs> ah, good ideas come to me sometimes. Anyway, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. And if you enjoyed this video, boop the like button. If you didn't enjoy this video, why are you still watching? Is it out of some sense of obligation? If it is, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up with the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Yep, still don't understand why, why my videos don't do as well as some other people in the same subject. 
Oh, well, that's best left to another expert. Yeah, should I hire somebody to coach me on my YouTubing? I think it would soak up all the revenue I make off this channel. Mm. Anyway, bye. Epilogue one, star date. I, you know what, I'm not going down that road. But this is the kind of stuff I deal with on my commute. Now, doesn't motovlogging seem like more fun? I just, I get to distract my brain from the crap that is in front of me, this traffic that's going slow, and I get to talk to you. Doesn't that make it all worthwhile and much better? I mean, gee whiz, I don't know how I rode so many miles before I was a motovlogger. I, I love doing this stuff. Bye.